In the previous episode, our fuel tank started leaking, making our van too dangerous to drive and unsafe to sleep in. In this episode, we head down to Homer Spit to unwind and recharge after some stressful days on the road. What a difference a day makes. We came through here the other day and it was drizzly and wet and cold and that now look at it. So not sure if I've said what we're doing today, but we're going down to Homer and the Homer Spit, taking the Stirling Highway. It's a four hour drive from Anchorage to Homer, so we stopped off after two hours at Peterson Lake, which is a free lakeside camp. So what happened was the people that were here just got up and left and left their fire going. You're not supposed to do that. So I thought, oh, we'll move here and we'll take over their fire truck look at some potatoes. This is pretty good for a free camping spot. There's another free one on another lake around the corner. Apparently I saw a grizzly there last night, so we need to keep our eye out. at this lovely little lakeside spot. We're gonna try our kayak out for the first time. Our Walmart kayak. Walmart inflatable kayak. I've done my job, I've put the paddles together. Mike's still working on the kayak. Here we go, it's almost up, it's very little. Not sure how safe it is, but we've got life jackets. After the stress of the last few days, we decided to stay for a while for some rest and relaxation. What a beautiful spot, hey? Surrounded by mountains, a lake. This is what Alaska's all about, isn't it? It's beautiful. And it's a free camping spot. And one of the guys left today and we managed to get their camping spot. Because we actually gave up our camping spot for some other people last night who were stuck, needed to put their tents up. Mike's trying to get the kayak back in the bag. Doesn't fit. <laughs> Not as straightforward as you might think. And just like that, all the other campers have gone, leaving us alone here. What a spot, eh? Can't beat this for a free place to camp. I tried baking bread on the campfire and just enjoyed this amazing spot in Alaska. reluctant to leave it's such a beautiful spot but we get a bit restless after a few days so need to move on good morning welcome to another day we're just leaving that beautiful camp spot and we're going to go into homer today have a look around there that's at the beach there's a spit homer spit apparently you can camp right down the end of the spit we'll go see if we can get a spot a spot at the spit come along it'll be fun We've been camping the last few days, beautiful, brilliant blue skies like this at the lake camp, which is inland. And now we're heading to Homer and all we can see is this big fog rolling in. It must be like a sea mist or something. Oh, so our van leaked again when we were filling up today. Filled up the other day, no problem. I don't know why it's decided to do it today. That's the other thing. Why is it decided to do it today? I think the, the, the breather pipe has somehow got blocked up. Mike got underneath to see what the problem was and it was leaking from the breather hose. He got some zip ties and sealed it up and that seemed to fix the problem. And how the garage let us drive away with it like this is beyond me. This is pretty cool. It's like it's a spit, but it's also got lots of little restaurants and shops along it. It's really neat. We're starving though. Then I saw a place does clam chowder. Yum! Never turned down a clam chowder. The lovely people we were camping next to the other day at the lake recommended Captain Paddy's. So we're gonna go in, get some clam chowder, maybe some fish and chips. I 
Homer Spit has these cute little beach huts along the way, little gift shops, and, you know, restaurants and stuff. It's really neat, but it's blooming cold out there. The wind is so cold. So we've just paid to camp down on Homer Spit. There's uh, Roger just there, right on the beach. And the wind's died down. It's absolutely stunning. And if you have a look at the mountains over there, just the mist hovering around. I was gonna say we might get a nice sunset here over, over the ocean, but the sun doesn't set here. Mike's just uh, Googled it. Apparently sunset tonight is at 11.30 p.m. That's way past my bedtime of eight o'clock. We're quite a way south here in Alaska. We're actually really looking forward to getting right up north to get the actual midnight sun where it doesn't get dark at all, ever. In December, it's dark all day. At 9.30 p.m. we were still feeling hungry, so we headed back to the spit. So we decided to come back down the spit because the fog's all cleared and it makes such a difference. The blue sky is gorgeous. We're just going to go maybe have a look at getting some tacos. So our food's just arrived. We've ordered, I've ordered the halibut taco and Mike's ordered the the deep fried rockfish. So it's in a little corn tortilla. Got some halibut in there, got some coriander, some, I don't know, some, some white stuff and some, some red stuff. I like your descriptions. <laughs> the red stuff some... is uh, tomato. <laughs> Let's have a taste. where we stayed last night, Mariner Park. It's right at the start of the spit. There's other ones further down the spit, but they're much, much busier. So this one, this one we thought was quite a nice option and it's right on the beach. What a difference a day makes. You know, we came here yesterday, it's all cloudy, but look at this, we haven't come yesterday, we've been in a completely different mindset. So we've just booked a last minute water taxi ride with True North Adventures. Apparently we're gonna be the only ones on board. That sounds exciting. Might see more, some more puffins. Just seen some puffins out here. Welcome to another sunny day in Alaska. We've left Homer, we stayed in our lakeside camp again last night, and today we're just heading down to the town of Hope. So we're just trying to find Hope. We're not sure what's here. I don't think it's a very big town. We just hope to find it. <laughs> I know I shouldn't laugh, but he does make me laugh. This looks quite cool actually, like a little gold mining town. So this is the town of Hope and people live here. over the other side here across the water that's the road that goes into Anchorage and Anchorage is just down there 
but to get there you gotta drive all the way around. The gold was found here between 1888 and 1889 and the town grew to about 3,000 people. But then in 1895 everyone left for the Klondike Gold Rush. March 27th, 1964, they had a massive earthquake here. The houses swayed for over four minutes. Whew, imagine that, that'd be terrifying. And you don't want to walk on the mud flats out here because the silt turns to quicksand on the incoming tide and the tide comes in pretty quick too. Anchorage we took Roger in for his oil change and to get his brakes checked. Turned out the front bearings needed to be replaced and we needed new brake pads. So it took longer and cost more than expected. Roger was now ready to venture into the wild. Well, almost. In the next episode we visit Denali National Park and experience the midnight sun. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. 